We pray for Ukraine or Ukraine. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan, make peace, so be it. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programmes offrent plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Наши программы предлагают много языков. Пожалуйста, посмотрите suprememastertv.com касаясь черты schedule. Cook with a few basic ingredients. This dish can be enjoyed as a daily meal or served on special occasions. Traditional Kenyan Recipes, Part 1 of 2 Aromatic Kenyan Vegan Pilar Rice Come and join us to discover more. As we put our love into action by doing good deeds and giving to others, we must also endeavor to inspire in everyone a love for animals, and help them see the importance of a meatless diet. The Venerable Dharma Master, Chen Yan, Vegan. When someone in Kenya greets you with hujambo in Swahili, one of the official languages of Kenya, it means, how are you? You can respond by saying, sijambo, which means, I am fine. I am Misika, the friendly and warm-hearted people of Kenya treasured and love the natural beauty and wildlife of the country. They are grateful that your noble actions in respecting and protecting the environment and animal people will make this world a paradise for all its co-inhabitants. May the divine nature within you radiate love and happiness. Vegan, to cut methane, to save the world, to, to save, save this and future generations. Welcome to our show, Traditional Kenyan Recipes, Part 1 of 2, Aromatic Kenyan Vegan Pilau Rice. Before the arrival of foreign influences and globalization, traditional Kenyan diets have for generations been mostly plant-based, based on indigenous crops such as cassava, yams, and maize, and often included a variety of leafy greens, legumes, and nuts. For a variety of reasons, including health, environmental, and ethical considerations, 
veganism is now gaining popularity among Kenyans. Young Kenyans are reclaiming the African roots and rediscovering the ancestral dietary traditions by moving towards a vegan diet. Today, we are delighted to have Malaika, vegan, on our show to demonstrate how you can make a delicious traditional Kenyan vegan pilau rice. Hamjambo mabibi na mabwana, karibuni jikoni kwangu. This means, hello viewers, welcome to my humble kitchen in Swahili. Today, I'm going to prepare a dish called pilau. Pilau is a traditional dish in Kenya where almost every family eats this on a daily basis. A lot of times also it's for festivals and Christmas because it's so delicious. Many people love this dish and because of its simplicity and the flavors of this dish, the ingredients are really simple. We have potato, green peas, and rice. The best rice to use is basmati rice because it has this wonderful smell and the grains are long and thin and it really cooks well with spices of the pilau. We have, of course, salt, grapeseed oil, black pepper, tomato paste, and the Roma tomatoes, but you can also use tomatoes of your choice. These are the spices for the pilau. So we have cinnamon sticks, two, three sticks is enough. And then we have cardamom, just a few, perhaps three, four. We have cumin seeds. We also have uh, black peppercorns and cloves. And this is what brings that flavor to the pilau. Truly delicious. We are going to start out by peeling our potato. Right here. Any potato is fine, really. I prefer russet potatoes. Make sure you wash everything properly. Wash your potato before you peel it and then wash it again. You can also cook this dish at home. All these ingredients, you can get them at your local store, you know, local market, and just try it out. I promise you, you won't regret it. You'll love it. It's delicious. We're going to wash the potato right here really well. And then we're going to dice the potato. I cut it in four lengthwise because it's russet potatoes are long. So not very small pieces because you don't want the potato to melt while you're making the rice. Put them on the side. And then we are going to peel our tomato. I'm going to make something very interesting for you. Okay, so I peel the skin really thinly. Yeah, let's do it over here because of the juices are running. Okay, we're going to use this to decorate our plate. Okay, here we go. And then we are going to roll this around. We'll start from the tip. Actually, that's the best way to start. So just keep rolling it. That way you don't throw everything. You can still use something and make something really cute. There you go. That's our rolls made from the tomato peel and place it on the plate for serving. 
And next, we are going to dice the tomatoes. What's important here is to really prepare everything. So when you start cooking, you know, you just continue cooking. So I'm going to open this can of tomato paste. And use a knife. Be careful not to cut yourself with it while opening this. It's very important. Okay, there you go. I'm going to wash this rice right now. These are two cups of rice that I'm using. Now everything is ready. I have all the ingredients here. Vegan side effect. Must learn to live with newfound peace. Noble viewers, we will take a moment to express our gratitude to home builders and trades people such as carpenters, plumbers, brick masons, electricians, and many others whose hard work and expertise make it possible for us to live in our safe and comfortable homes. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We will be right back. Russia, go home. Welcome back to our show, Traditional Kenyan Recipes, Part 1 of 2, Aromatic Kenyan Vegan Pilau Rice. Everything is ready so we can start cooking. Turn on the stove. We're going to use this pot. We're going to start with grapeseed oil, but you can use any oil that you prefer. I'm going to use two tablespoons. As it starts to heat, I put in the tomatoes. That sound, isn't it amazing? Food cooking. Make sure it doesn't stick to the pan. As it simmers, you start adding some salt. I usually just use my fingers to take a pinch of salt because I don't want it to be too salty. And as we continue cooking, I taste and add as I go along. And then we are going to add black pepper and the potatoes. Sprinkle a little bit of salt on the potatoes because you want to make sure everything gets the spices in. Then we are going to add our green peas. And immediately after that, we are going to put all our spices into the vegetables. It starts to smell really good. Let it simmer for 
just a little bit you can add just a little bit of water because we are going to add our tomato paste and you don't want everything to stick to the pot you don't have to use the whole can of tomato paste just look at the thickness of your sauce and decide if you want it thicker or more red then you add more paste it's up to you so I put about three quarters of this the tomato paste mix it all together nicely it already looks delicious it's making me hungry already this is hot water we're gonna pour it in there just like that mix it all together this is the moment when you need to taste the salt before putting in your rice Okay, it needs just a little bit more salt. Remember you're putting the rice in it and you want to make sure everything is nicely flavorful. The best thing is just to keep on tasting. It's better to have a little salt than too much salt. And then we are going to put in our rice. As it starts to boil. So this way the rice gets all the flavors of the spices the tomatoes the, and the peas all this mixture is what brings the magic to this dish and don't be afraid to try it out i mean even if the first time it doesn't come out as you wish do it again i'm pretty sure you will do an amazing job Okay, our rice is in there. Mix well. Be careful not to burn yourselves, please. We're going to move this over here. As soon as you see the water level has gone down to the level of your rice, lower the heat to low and cover it for an additional 25 minutes and let it cook. Vegan, the true nutrition for adults and children. So let's take a peek here. Oh, that looks just right turn off the heat our rice is cooked because in Kenya the pilau rice is kind of gourmet you know for special occasions uh, I really want to plate this in a very special way so I'm gonna use a cup make sure you fill the cup properly then press it down, press it down nicely and then just drop it on the plate just like that and then we are going to decorate it with the Roma tomatoes. We are going to make really thin slices for the decoration. then we are going to slice all the slices in half we are going to put this around just like that 
can squeeze it in like all around the plate to make some kind of flower to complement the rose. I need one more slice. Make sure the slices are thin. The best way to get a good result. Cut this one in four. It shouldn't be too big. Put one on top of the other. Kind of put them in a zigzag. Yeah, let's stick that in there so it's held by that one. And then we need a few leaves of cilantro just to add a little bit of color but slice it really thinly you can use the tip of your knife to collect everything and just drop it in the center okay our plating is done now it's time to taste this rice let's see i must tell you this is my favorite kenyan dish ever i love it it's really delicious those spices you know the way everything just came together the rice tastes so good you can smell the spices you can taste them the cloves, the cinnamon, the cardamom, and everything, that is pilau rice. It's really good. It's really good. You don't need anything else. You can eat the rice just like this. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. The United Arab Emirates is one of them. United Arab Emirates Federal Law Number 16 of 2007 and Federal Law Number 18 of 2016. In the United Arab Emirates, legal amendments in 2018 state Companion animals should not be abandoned under any circumstances and also says that any act of animal people cruelty to one's companion animal could incur a fine or jail sentence. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more herding. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test or for any reason at all. Be vegan, make peace, so be it. Ingredients For all ingredients, please use organic versions if available. For the Kenyan vegan pilau rice, the ingredients are 2 cups of smutty rice 2 Roma tomatoes peeled and diced 1 russet potato 1 cup of green peas, 135 milliliters of tomato paste, 4 cups of hot water, salt to taste, some ground black pepper, 1 tablespoon of grapeseed oil, spice mixture, 3 whole cardamom pods, 1 teaspoon of cloves, 1 teaspoon of whole cumin seeds, 3 cinnamon sticks, a few pieces of whole black peppercorn, garnishing, one tomato peel for the rose, some thinly sliced tomatoes, some cilantro leaves. Vegan, prepared for takeoff to heaven. Delightful viewers, thank you for joining us on our show today. If you could smell the aromatic spice coming from this flavorful pilau rice, you'd probably be heading to your kitchen to cook some right away. 
Don't forget to join us next Sunday, October 15, for part two of our show on traditional Kenyan recipes, where we will be sharing with you another Kenyan favorite, Yugali with vegan coconut chicken. Up next is our merits and love can change and elevate others, part one of seven, on Between Master and Disciples. Right after noteworthy news, God is always with us to show the way, lest we go astray. Let's reach out to those in need by unconditionally doing good deeds. Heaven will bless you for making a difference in the lives of others. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, how not reach. Russia, go home now. For free international vegan recipes and for language availability, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG and suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule.